Long time no see YouTube, uh, Silver Skull Gamer here with a fresh order from Shapeways. Uh, I have opened the box, but I have not looked in it yet. I actually made two pretty good orders from Shapeways to support two different projects. And I don't even know which box this is, so this is a surprise for me as well. Oh, yes. Okay. This is the one I'm really excited about. Uh, this is an order from Pop Goes the Monkey. All right, let's just get all this stuff out of here. Be nice and careful with it. Shapeways, shipping, it's got their branding all over the, uh, the bag. So, oh, what is this? Oh, this one's got a little piece of cardboard. Cool. Okay. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. Sorry for the audio because I don't actually have my uh, the little battery for the microphone. So let's see what we got. This was my very large order, and monetarily, and pieces. Wow! Oh, wow. Those. So Pop Goes the Monkey does, um, I think probably his biggest selling thing is these curved uh, icons that I've actually done a video on before uh, for my uh, Salamanders project. The problem was before I could even finish that project, um, He had to basically redo all his icons because they were too similar to GW proper um, symbols. And I realized that my first order of his dragon heads, his basically Salamander's chapter icon, uh, I didn't have enough. And I wasn't going to be able to finish all the infantry with the same icon. So I was like, well, hell, what do I do? Have some, you know, different mismatched icons and stuff. Well, I happened to uh, finally come across some spending money, and I just reordered a whole complete order of these new sexy icons. Um, so he's got, and then he even resized them. Let's see if I can find the other set. Because Mark III shoulder pads have a pretty thick rim on them. And the normal icons he makes for like Mark VII or Mark VI or even Mark IV shoulder pads don't quite fit. And I think these might be the 5mm version. I don't know if I can get that. I was focusing. Anyways, so... I had to order, so I ordered the normal size and extra small because I have acquired now from the 30 Mark III I have from um, Burning a Prospero, I acquired some more. So I probably have like 50 Mark III. And uh, yeah, you can tell. Oh yeah, those are a lot smaller. Whew. I guess when you're Man, now I'm not even sure if I'm happy with that. Come on. So the bottom set is the 7 millimeter, I think, which is the normal size. And then the top set is the 5 millimeter, which is meant to fit wholly within the Mark III shoulder pad. Um, and on initial inspection, I mean, right out of the package, I don't see anything broken detail looks really good like even the I don't know if it'll show up in painting but like even the teeth are in the mouth um, and the little ridges on top of the head and everything so we'll see how it comes out painting it uh, once they're on and primed and then layers of paint on top of that all right let's see what else we got so that's there should be like 60 of each of those 
Ah, okay. Here's the... I won't have... An, I didn't order enough of these. I had to pick and choose to fit my budget at the time. But I also wanted to get some of these flame icons for the other shoulders. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Oh. Huh. Uh, so this is interesting. Sprue design, because the cut point is on top of the icon, like right in the middle. We'll see how that pans out. They look good, though. Huh. They look good. It's just, that's really weird to have the sprue uh, on top of the emblem like that. Like on the surface that you're actually going to paint. So, hopefully they clip off pretty clean. Uh, Alright, and then we have... Uh, my thirty, my heresy era salamanders army is definitely going to have vehicles. Um, probably going to be an orbital assault force first, just because I have five drop pods that are never probably going to see forty k use. Doubt it. Oh wow, that's awesome. Oh okay, these <laughs> these definitely have some. Um, what do you call it? Like mold, not really mold lines, but uh, God, what did we used to call that on the mold lines? It spills out. Anyways, there's some after stuff's got to be trimmed off, sanded down. Uh, so you can see those pretty good. Those are all flat vehicle icons. So that's going to be awesome. Oh, there's even, oh, I didn't even notice those two. So the only problem with these is there's definitely uh, ridges. These pieces are big enough that you can see the printing lines. Uh, so maybe just a little sanding and good primer and it'll fill it in. But these two icons are cool. I didn't even notice those when I ordered it. They have the the flame, the flames with the dragon. That's cool. And the piece de resistance for me is definitely going to be these. Oh, it's going to be really hard to see the detail because it's clear. But Salamander's boarding shields. So there's a flame icon with a little detail at the bottom like uh, you could paint as coals or rocks or whatever lava and then the dragon head is over that so pretty cool these are gonna be awesome I love the idea of the concept of breachers and Warhammer 30k horse heresy um, I really wanted to buy two of these sets but again I had to pick and choose so uh, so I'll see y'all later.